Liv, we're here. We're at the launch of Galdev. Yes! Yes! How does it feel? How it feels so exciting. Like, I was so nervous earlier because I've obviously never done anything like this before in my life. But everyone is, like, just so loving all of the performances and are so here just to support us, like, regardless of their colour, their gender, whatever, which is so nice. Fantastic. Like, yeah. And we're, we're in the bar, which is obviously the, the best bar, place the to be at a party. <laughs> It does, it does. We want it to be like very informal, not like performance after performance after performance, like school talent show kind of thing. We want it to be like very free. It's when the when the artists are ready to come on, they can come on. Like it's fine. <laughs> and if you had to like sum up Galdem for someone who didn't know what it was, what would you say? I'd say, in a nutshell, it is just an online publication which is fresh, young, vibrant, different, and something which is really needed at the moment. And it's just for us as women of colour to write about anything we want to write about. So it can be anything you want to make of it. It could be documentaries, it could be cartoons, it could be like rest of it. It's everything. Like. Perfect. Well, let's continue that. I'm going to let you go okay. and I'm going to learn how to make a sassy toe. Can you guys teach me how to make a sassy toe? Yay! <laughs> so a sassy toe. Where did the name come from? Can anyone tell me? Well, we had our sexy, sassy days, so it kind of came from that mixed with mojito, so it's a sassito. <laughs> nice, perfect. So what goes into a sassito? Uh, do you want to start? We basically start with a double shot of rum. I'll let you do that. Very nice. Some crazy people ask for singles, but we don't entertain that. <laughs> One, wash face gently, soap, cold water, pat dry two. Mix in a ratio of six grams cream, 0.6 gram powder, three. Use finger, apply blended mixture four. Rub thoroughly, use daily five. Strip back layers of dead skin, black skin, melanin six. Rub hard to your brown face reddens, seven. Leave cream on for 10 minutes. Caution, this is for external use only. But we cannot promise there will be no eternal internal damage such as self-hate, self-doubt, self-loathing. And please do keep out of the reach of children, but accidents do happen. Caution. This product will not make you sound like, live like, seem like, or even look like a light-skinned, white-skinned woman. In fact, you may not even look human. But at least you won't be dark. So Eno, we've just come you've just come off stage and already you've had loads of people coming up to you and talking about your piece and, and sort of reacting to it. What's your response to the reaction? They've been really positive, haven't they? It has been really positive and I'm I'm always so shocked at how many people really have dealt with this in their lives growing up. So I have response from the black community, from the Asian community and it's really it's an issue that is really, really still prevalent in a lot of people's lives. So a lot of things that I hear when people come up to me after is are actually testimonies or like stories of what they've gone through when they're younger. So it's, it's always like a, another experience for me just afterwards, just to hear from them. And then there's people that have never, they didn't know this was still going on, which is another like really interesting thing to hear. And just to be clear, the sort of the basis of your, of your poem there, of your piece was about, well, just tell the audience. It's about the, the phenomenon of skin lightening in the black and Asian community. And it's about growing up and not knowing that your skin that is dark is actually okay and very, very beautiful. You were like my teacher. One that I could make out with behind running engine bushes at house parties. <laughs> but we argued incessantly, mainly over whether Bob Dylan or Aretha Franklin were the superior artists. I was stood in Aretha's corner, holding up her heavenly whale of molten gold like a shield of sheer, unadulterated awesomeness, and you retaliated by making me listen to Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> An anemic hunk of a hippie who wore Ray Ban shades indoors and had a voice <laughs> that made me crave strep stills. So, Vanessa, congratulations on your performance. Everyone seemed to absolutely love it. When you're getting the laughs from the crowd and their reaction to it, how, so how are you responding when you're on stage? It's lovely, it's really nice. I, I do what I do because I want to connect with people. So, And it's about making people feel less alone in their experiences. Because ultimately, if you felt something, you're not going to be the first person to have ever felt that. 
So I think when you just say that out loud, you're likely to be met with reflection. I still imagine against all odds, Bob and Aretha sat on a park bench somewhere singing in perfect harmony, their voices <laughs> melding into endless possibilities as they share upon it a big, fat, red, juicy straw.